I'm Robert Strand, Executive Director of the Center for Responsible Business. Each semester we partner with business and thought leaders to bring a series of events around topics of corporate responsibility and sustainability here to UC Berkeley. I'm here with Jeff Demby, co-founder and chief creative officer of PACT, and Jeff was one of our panelists today during the Peterson series here at Haas. So Jeff, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. Jeff, PACT was founded in 2009, and since the beginning, values was very much core to the company. Since then, you've, you've grown immensely. Can you talk about how you've kept values in the company while scaling up so dramatically? The whole point of starting PACT was to try to change the way that we made apparel. My experience before PACT was overseas in the supply chain, and through that very real experience, I discovered just how, how much better we could probably do this than, than we are. There was so much exploitation of people and the environment within that supply chain. And so I walked away from that experience wanting to start a company that existed solely because I felt like we needed to make clothes in a different way. I always say the world did not need another underwear and socks company. There are plenty of them out there but the world needed a company like PACT. The topic of today's Peterson series was about living wages. Why would a company like PACT care about living wages? In the uh, garment supply chain, there is a massive amount of exploitation, starting with the cotton farmer at the very base of that supply chain, and then through every factory, every function, every process that happens to that cotton to turn it into a garment, there is exploitation. The way the system is set up, it's rigged against workers. And once you start to understand that, you realize that it's completely unfair. For us, it was super important because of the DNA of who we are and what we were trying to do, was to go in and find a way to work with a factory so that we could actually pay these workers what they deserve to be paid for their products or for their work rather than trying to exploit the opportunity for cheap labor so that mm -hmm. we can make cheap products to sell over here. Mm -hmm. So it's another piece of what fits with changing each little piece of the supply chain. And the reality is, is that like garment workers across the world are barely subsisting above poverty, and most of them live below the poverty line in the countries where they, where they live. And this is not a sustainable way for developed countries or de developing countries to become developed. It's not going to happen unless we have brands taking responsibility for how they're making stuff. I heard you today during the Peterson event uh, share some rather personal stories about connections by meeting the people that are in your supply chain that are halfway across the world and you wouldn't always have the chance to actually put a face to this person. Can you speak to maybe the importance of that, of that kind of humanism yeah. of the supply chain and, and, and what sort of relevance that has for driving what you do? I think that the meeting your maker, so to speak, is absolutely the most important thing that you can do if you make something. To go back and see where it actually starts, you really start to realize that, like, oh, these are people. Mm -hmm. Like, when I buy a pair of underwear or a t-shirt or whatever on the shelf in America, you know, I am actually affecting the life of a cotton farmer in the middle of India who I will never meet. I've taken executives from retailers over to go through the entire supply chain process and it has completely changed them both as people and as, uh, as executives. And they've gone back to their companies, taken the learning and, and the knowledge, that, like the, the experience, and said, like, we need to do something, we need to yeah. do better, we need to have standards, we need to be making decisions based on, on where this stuff comes from. You know, you're a Haas alum, and we have these, these defining principles, these wonderful defining principles at Haas. And when I'm hearing the things that you offered today during the Peterson series, and right now in the the conversation that we're having here, the principle of beyond yourself really comes to mind. That that particular principle speaks to you and, and is uh, maybe a driving factor in, in some of the things you do. Yeah, I mean, it's, 
it's something that, uh, it's a principle that this school should be really proud about because I see so many students here really taking that to heart. And for me, that was what my business was all about and, and trying to figure out a way to combine what I learned on the business side with what my values are mm -hmm. as a person. Um, and so marrying that is the great passion and the great challenge. For me, standing in a field in India so far away with an organic cotton farmer who I require two levels of translation to even say hello to, and just like shaking their hand and realizing that you're like so connected to that person's livelihood and understanding that in an instant, the world is so tiny. Yeah. That to me is what drives me and that's what makes me believe that in business we can do better and in our own lives we can do better. And so when I think about everything I learned at Berkeley, there's an incredible opportunity to go out into the world and make a living doing good stuff affecting people's lives super positively. I, I've been doing this now for six years and spent an absolute ton of time overseas in learning all about the supply chain and I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that the most powerful thing that we can do as, an impact, as, as a business, the most powerful social impact that we can make is by focusing on improving the lives of the farmers and workers who actually make our product and that is, for me, the thing that like gets me out of bed every day and, and drives our business forward. Uh, Jeff, this was, you offered such incredible insight and clearly you have a, a, a deep passion uh, for these topics at hand and I just want to say thank you so very much for taking the time today to uh, discuss and, and share with all of us. Thank you for having me. Really appreciate it.